So, how to create video streaming in Android Studio. So, first we have to open our Microsoft Word. This is our source code. So, we will follow it. And then, open our Android Studio. So, here we will start first with the video stream client part. So let's just wait for the Android. So once we have to start, so start new Android Studio. So my application name is Video Stream Client. Then just click next, next, and then activity and then finish. And then we will just have to wait for the Android Studio application to launch. So it will build Gradle and all the necessary files for our program. So with this, we just have to click close and then wait for our Gradle to finish. So on our source code, we will start first. So this is our layout. So this will be our output, expected output. So let's start first with our manifest. So on Android Studio, you just have to click up. So this is our manifest file. So we will start with manifest. Click up. And then we have their manifest. Then Android manifest. So we don't need to copy everything. We just have to copy this line. So copy. And then paste that after the package line. So the rest of the, the content of that manifest is already there. So as you notice, we don't have any error here on our manifest. So next is we will going to have the layout part. So in Android Studio, we can find it out in the rest folder, then layout, activity, main. So by default, here how it looks. So first we have to click up theme and then material light for us to see how our applications looks like this if you notice by default it's in a constrained layout but in our program on the real layout part we have to change that into a relative layout so we just have to change that line into relative layout And then we have to remove unnecessary content. Okay, so if you notice that part, by default, we don't have this area. So looking on our layout, so we have to copy that line before the main activity and then paste that line. and then copy the entire part of our layout. So if you notice, we have real red lines, which means we have to um, fix it. So first thing for those red, first, um, sets of red lines on the upper part, so we have diamond. So we have to click diamond XML. So that is under values, right click, then click new values and then we just have to type diamonds.xml this is where we will put that particular line of code so place that in between resources so copy that line And then simply paste that in resources. Then let's go back with our main activity, activity main. So we will now fix other part of that. So on our design, first we just have to click button setup. So we looking on our expected output. The name of that button is setup. So we will use that within our resources again we start with this button name setup 
button setup so click that on text right and then add new resource so new string value on the resource name it should be the id so it should exactly be the same as our id which is button setup for the resource value so looking on our code so it should be setup or on our form it should be setup whatever the label it is you have to put that in the resource value so if you notice we already fixed that line so the next button is button play same procedure on text part just have to click that line add new resource new string value and our id name is button play and then resource value is play so click ok then let's look so it's already fixed next is button for pause same procedures is under text new string value resource name is button underscore post for the resource value it should be post Okay, then we only have two remaining. So the fourth one is our, our third down button. So same as the previous procedure, just have to click that button and then text, add new resources, new string value, so button, underscore, tear down. Resource value should be tear down. then last is our edit text part so if we look we have to consider the hint properties so under that edit server part edit text so looking on the hint add new source new string value resource name is edit text server ip edit text underscore server ip so it's, again it should always be same as the id and then resource value if we look on our layout it should be enter server ip address then click ok and finally we already fixed all those errors a while ago and now we will proceed on our java file so we will start first with main activity java so by default it all has the main activity java file so we will just have to copy the content of this java main activity since we already have the rest of the import no need to copy that particular two line So we just copy the rest of the lines under import. Okay, then paste that. Either you can paste that before that up compatibility, up compatibility or comp activity or after. Doesn't matter as long as you have all the import line. And then we have to proceed with the next line of codes under main activity, extends up compact activity. So we have here the sets of variables. Make sure that you will just copy the line before override. okay then if you notice we have that two sets of line already so we will skip that line and then we will just copy the rest of the line before that sent content view so let's look on that so here are these 
codes. So, we only have the three lines of codes. Did paste that. Okay, then we will now copy the rest of the source code under main activity Java. So here in our experiment, we actually have three Java class. So by default, we only have one Java class, which is the main activity. So therefore, we will create the other two Java um, file or Java class here. So later on, I will show you how to create Java class in Android Studio. Okay, so that's the last line for main activity. Okay, so let's remove the other excess part. So if you notice, our main activity that Java file have some red codes or red syntax. It means we are either getting some error or we mi still missing other part of this program so as i told you we need other two java class here so those are first the video stream java so here are we how we will create java class so on java folder if you notice you only have one main activity you just have to right click then new and then you found out here java class and then on the java class name it should be the name of the class so the name of the class here is video stream so it is case sensitive so just have to type whatever the exact syntax for that class so it should be video stream without any spaces so let's check it again yes yeah, so it should be video stream so video capital v and then on the stream capital s so it should be the same okay then click ok so here we we already generate class name video stream so we will just have to copy other lines of codes which is needed on this particular class. So first is the import java.io. Then the rest of the code within that video stream class. So we will copy it until the last line. So that's the last line. And then remove unnecessary symbols. Yeah. So it's still the main activity that Java have that red line. So it means we're still missing another class here. So the last class that we need to create is actually the RTP packet. So same way with how we create that video stream Java class. So we have to name it as RTP packet. So on our Android Studio, again, it's under Java. And then you just have to click right click and then new class. So the name of the class again is RTP packet. Click OK. So same procedure as we done with um, video stream. You just have to copy the rest of the remaining code within our RTP packet class. until the last line of code okay then paste that within our class rtp packet so as we paste if you notice the main activity that java red line a while ago is already removed it means our code is already completed so that's the entire code for our video stream client. So if you will scan through the lines of code, we don't have any error right now. Okay, so we're done with video stream client. We will now proceed with our video stream server. So in Android Studio, just have to click file, new, and then new project. The name of our project now is video stream server. Okay, click next and then finish. 
then again we just have to wait for the grade gradle to finish before we will start um fixing code or copying those code from microsoft word or from our source code so this is our layout so it's expected layout it looks like this then our output would be something like playing those frame so same way with the client we will have to start first with the manifest file so in this we uh, will set those user permission thing so on our android studio again click up then we will found manifest folder then under manifest.xml so this is where we will put the code since we already have other lines of code we just have to copy that user permission line okay so we will paste it here okay so i think that's it so we will now proceed with the layouts part so it is found under rest folder then layouts activity main so here on um we are we have to click on the design part and then same way that we do on client we will um set or we will copy lines of code so first we have to change again that relative layout part so our android studio by default is set to constraint layout but before that let's, let's look out first our form so we just have to click that optim and then material light okay and then going back on the text again first we have to change that into a relative layout type okay then remove unnecessary content okay so with this if you look on our source code aside from those layouts we have here padding so we have to insert that line in between our layout and tool context so in between under layout and tool context okay so let's don't mind first again those red lines because we will set that diamonds xml later on and then we will copy the rest of this code so with this server we only have here two tools two text view part so we will have to fix that diamond files again so on our source code we have that diamonds that xml code so we have to create that diamonds xml things again so we will do that again in the values folder file and then right click new values resource file then diamonds.xml and then in between those resources we will paste the rest of the line under diamonds.xml file okay so we already fixed it so we're done with the layout part so we will now proceed again with the java file or java class with this server same as we use in the client we have your three java class main activity video stream and rtp client so again by default we only have here main activity class under java folder so all we need to do is to copy the rest of the lines of the code so first with those import files so again we don't need to copy the, the already we already have those two import lines so we just have to copy the rest of those import lines here okay okay so we're just copying the rest of that import line here And then followed by our variables so we have we're going to copy that variables so make sure we just have to copy the lines before that overrides then paste that 
Okay, and then looking on our code, so we already have the protected void on create line. So we don't need to copy that again. So we will now proceed on the rest of the lines of the codes. So as we check, so we already have the super that on create line. So we will have to move on the next codes, lines of code. So from here. Okay, and then paste it again. Okay, so after the activity underscore main line on our set context view, so the rest of the code within main activity dot Java should be copied. So make sure again the line that you copy is with is within main activity that java class only you don't need to copy the other lines of codes we will place that on their separate class so remove unnecessary lines of codes Okay, so again, we're expecting some kind of wiggle red line. So let's not um, have, uh, let's now proceed with the second class first. So later on, it will be fixed once we already create those other Java class here. So we also have RTP packet class in our on our server. So same way with uh, the client, we will create the class for that. So new Java class and then the name of the class is oops so it should be what rtp packet again the name of the class as we type should be exactly be the same as our class name which is rtp packet so make sure to copy that exactly or to type that correctly and then here we will paste other lines of codes here so right after our public class, we will just copy the codes until the last line before our video stream class. Okay, sir, so, and then remove all necessary lines here. So make sure that RTP packet the Java file doesn't have any error at all. Okay. So our last class here is video stream class. So same procedure as the client. So we have to create video stream class. So after we create this video stream class, then definitely that main activity class will now be fixed. So same way, same procedure. Create new class, video stream. Then paste the rest of the codes. within our video stream class so make sure you will copy the rest of the lines of code you have to double check if you forget some lines of codes because you might encounter some errors if you will not copy it correctly Okay, so base that. So if you notice, all of the Java class are already fixed, even our main activity the Java class. So we're done with our client and server. So let's try to run our client first or server now here. Let's try to run both of those um, client and server part. So let's look what will be the output of that on our machine. So this is the stream client output. Okay, so we don't have any error with that.
Okay, let's just wait for the output. Okay, so this is our output for our server. The next thing that we're going to do is to look on that setting part. So some of the Android Studio should have should allow that permission. So we just have to allow permission through these settings. Both permission, both on our client and server would um, be under settings. And then we have your applications. And then click application manager. Then look on that particular uh, APK file. So it's either video stream client or video stream server. Same procedure. So on this case, we will look for video stream server. And then click on permissions. Because by default on the modern Android Studio, those permissions are set disabled and then here we have to check first if our movie.mjpg file is within our storage then let's look for the output so on the client part just, just have to copy whatever the ip address of that server okay then click setup so you will see and then play so this should be the output for our video stream so it means that the client and server can now communicate